Hi, this is Jason from Horrific Nightmares. Welcome to another edition of My Choice Monday. Now, today I'm going to be taking a look at When the Lights Went Out. Now, this is a film I just got from my very good friend, Horror and Taj. And this is a ghost story. Now, When the Lights Went Out is a 2012 film, which runs approximately 83 minutes. And is written and directed by Pat Holden. Now he was responsible for Away Days and The Long Weekend. Now as I was watching this film, I started to notice some of the actors looked very, very familiar. So now we're going to get into that. A Kate Ashfield plays Jenny, the mom. She was in Shaun of the Dead and The Best Man. Stephen Waddington plays Len, the father. He was in The Hole, Sleepy Hollow, and The Imitation Game. Craig Parkinson plays Brian, the friend of the father. He was in Virgin Territory and The Other Man. But I will say the bright spot in this film was Tasha Connor, who plays Sally. Now she was in The Incident and A Brilliant Young Mind. And her friend Lucy, played by Hannah Clifford. I couldn't find anything on her. But finally, the person who played Mr. Price is Martin Compston. And he looked extremely familiar familiar to me. He was in the movies Piggy, which I have watched. And uh, I enjoyed it. He was in Doomsday, which I was also have and watched. I like that one as well. It's more of a po- post-apocalyptic type film. And The Disappearance of Alice Creed, which is also another good one. Now this film takes place in Yorkshire... In 1974, and the plot is as follows. A family, a mother and father, and their daughter move into what the mother considers their dream house. When they move into this dream house, the daughter is completely against it because, of course, she's leaving her friends. Um, she just doesn't want to move. When they get there, a girl named Lucy kind of befriends her, although it does take a while for their friendship to kind of materialize because the daughter is basically having none of the whole moving sort of vibe, which I get, and she plays it very well. When they move into this house, some strange things start to happen, And you find out the history of the house and the history of the actual, some of the places in the town. And I'm going to kind of leave it there because I don't want to give anything away. Uh, Of course, a standout in this film was Tasha Connor, who plays Sally, the little girl. And Harriet Clifford, who plays Lucy, who I didn't actually see in anything else, but she just really impressed me. They both did. When they start their friendship, the camaraderie is the part that really gets me. This movie's not going to be for everyone. <clears throat> this is a very slow burn. And of course, it's based on a true story, which I always like. The fact that it's slow will probably put people off. But here's what this movie doesn't have, and I found it really, really refreshing. Jump scares. Almost every single movie like this has a ton of jump scares, and I'm including the big ones too, like The Conjuring and Annabelle and movies like that. It was was very refreshing to see a movie like this, like A Haunting or ghost story or something like that that's able to build tension without throwing a jump scare at you every five minutes 
the accents were kind of thick and it didn't have subtitles, but you know, some parts I had to rewind and watch again because I'm not as comfortable with, you know, the really thick language and the, um, the slang that is used. But I found myself really feeling for the family as they're basically falling apart because of this girl being tormented by this entity in the house. And it's not, like I said before, a jump scare every five minutes. Because to me, that's tired. It's played out. It's annoying. It genu genuinely annoys this girl. It keeps her from sleeping. <clears throat> One of the uh, bright spots also in the film is kind of the... Mr. Price, her teacher, kind of looks on her as a, like he understands her and he really wants to help her. And I like that the dynamic between the teacher and the daughter, or the teacher and the the youngest kid, it's just very, very nice and very refreshing. <clears throat> Uh, one of the things also in the film, whenever you see a haunting movie or a ghost story, it's basic. it basically takes a while for the people to believe what's going on inside the house. That is not the case in this film. Some of it is explained away and kind of brushed under the carpet, but they kind of find out what they're dealing with fairly quickly not the whole past and everything that goes into the haunting but they realize that there's actually a ghost there now i know most people would say i'd be out of there as soon as the first thing happened and that's easy to say but when you have all your money tied up in the house and it's the wife's quote-unquote dream home it plays for a pretty decent dynamic in the film. I really enjoyed this movie. <clears throat> I found it to be a really fresh take on a kind of tired subject. So I, again, wanted to thank Horror and Taj for sending this to me. I really enjoyed this. Um, I'm going to put his links in the description box below. Sorry I'm losing my voice a little bit. Um, definitely... Check out his channel. He has an awesome, awesome collection. And if you like what you see in here, hit that like button and subscribe. And until next time, peace.